Hello, greetings from Princeton, New Jersey. I'm on Olden Lane. I'm right in front of the house where Robert Oppenheimer lived and died in. Is this a lost cat? I love this town. I was born here, uh, went to school here, still come here a lot. We've done some videos here. Across the street, I just noticed they have a velociraptor in their backyard. Let's see if I can show you this. Look at that. Today we're going to look at some of the locations from the life of Robert Oppenheimer. We're also going to look at some of the movie locations. They filmed some of the movie right over here. They also filmed in this house, so we're going to take a look at it from the outside. It's a big, beautiful house. It was built in 1696. Uh, William Olden, who spelled his name differently than the sign here, spelled his name differently than the house. He spelled his name with two Ds, but sometime over the years they've shortened it. This house, and we'll get closer to it, but you can kind of see it peeking through the trees. This is Olden Manor, and this is the house that they put the director of the Institute for Advanced Studies, which is over here. They put the director in this house, and that's why Oppenheimer lived in this house. Einstein visited him for hours at this house. This is a very historic place and uh, interesting place, so let's go take a look. Now, William Olden bought the land, had the house built, but he never actually lived here. This house is rumored to have bullets, bullet holes in the fireplace. Bullets uh, are rumored to have gone through the house during the Revolutionary War. Uh, there is no evidence of it, so I think it may not be true. However, it is close enough that that is possible. Uh, it's also said that Washington would put his wounded here, which is probably, probably not true just because they have no evidence of it, but that is true of other houses right nearby. There's no evidence of either, but many of the houses in the area fit both descriptions, so. Look at this, that is a beauty. Now the Institute inherited the house in 1936, and since 1939, the director has always lived here. Oppenheimer was here from 46 until he died right in this house of throat cancer on February 18th, 1967. Now they filmed some of the movie inside this house uh, and also Oppenheimer added a greenhouse to the house. I don't see it. They say it was on the south side. So we'll walk around to the back because that's the direction we're heading and we'll take a look, see if we can see it from there. But I think, I think it's gone, but it used to be right here. So here's the back of the home. Not much you can see. There are a lot of trees there, but nice patio doesn't appear to have a greenhouse. So we're gonna head across the street, which is where Oppenheimer worked, which is where Einstein worked. I'll point out from the outside where their offices were, uh, but it's all right in this area. So we're gonna head over there right now. By the way, I don't know if I did this in the intro. I got distracted by a cat. I think it was a dog, a dog. Hope they find that dog. Hope he wasn't eaten by the raptors. This is Pointless Nostalgia. I'm Guy Hutchinson. We're taking a look at different locations from the life of Robert Oppenheimer, also from the movies. We'll go to a couple spots from that. Should be a lot of fun. I have not seen this movie, by the way, uh, but I know a lot about it. I just don't have the time to sit in the movie theater for three hours, it's a lot. But uh, when it comes on video, maybe I'll check it out. But in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll check out these things. I found some of the clips online and we're gonna head right over to here. Here it is, a beautiful old building. Love that clock tower up there. Clock looks like it's right, actually, which is usually the case on fancy buildings, and this certainly is a fancy building. A lot of times less fancy buildings. Clock falls apart over time. Uh, 
There you go. It says 1930, actually, above the door. I thought this was built a little later, but 1930. There are pictures of Einstein standing in front of it. And so this would be the front door. Both Einstein and Oppenheimer had offices in this building, but on the other side. So we'll go over there and take a look. You can see some modern things. You can see some lights on there, a little door pads that people have to put their keys on to get in. But the structure of the building, definitely not very hard to shoot around some of that stuff and make this building look the way it did almost a hundred years ago. The locations they shot the movie at were also used for a lot of other movies. This location was used in the movie IQ starring Meg Ryan and Tim Robbins and Walter Matthau. Now we've gone around the back and Dr. Oppenheimer's office was right here. Dr. Einstein's office was right here. Now in the movie Oppenheimer, they actually filmed in this office because they wanted a view of the pond here. And the pond, actually, they shot a whole sequence there. So they switched to which office they used because all these trees here had grown up so much that it was hard to get a good shot out of his actual office, which was there. Now I'm gonna show you some pictures. Here he is lighting his pipe. Would have been by this window here. And in the background, you would see this building I'll show you another one where you can clearly see this building right behind him. Here he is sitting there. He would have been closer to, I think, this window because you start to see the curvature of the wall right behind him. So I think that would be this window. And the view would show this building right out his window. Here's a picture of the two men inside Einstein's office. So that would have been right up there. And this shot was actually taken around this corner because you see this part of the building in the shot. So you can see the roof right behind them there. And so that was taken out there. So again, the view from his office is the one that they use in the movie. So they can show the lake back here. And we're not just talking about movies. All the real stuff obviously happened right in those offices. All right, here we are. This is the pond that was in the movie. There is a deer over here. I don't know if you can see him. Just hanging out in the field there. Oh, there's another one. You rarely see just one. There's two there. Enjoying themselves this morning. So the movie was filmed in April of 2022, so it was over a year ago. So there is a little difference, but you can match up these trees. Now this brush here was all cleared out. I don't know if they cleared it for the movie, but they were actually standing right up here. And you can see the trees in the background. And we are able to match up some of these trees from the shot where Einstein's hat falls off. So here's the shot from the movie you see, Killian Murphy. And you see Einstein there with his hat falling off. Now pay attention to these trees that bend to the left and then the other ones that go straight up. They're all right here. So there's the ones that bend to the left. There's the ones that go straight up. And that's where they are right here. So they were standing right along the bank here. Einstein's hat would have came off. He was standing right up here, real close to the edge of the water. And they would have had their talk as they stood by the water, which is right down here, very close. This is a man-made pond that they built for the Institute. Here's a shot of Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss 
who was a businessman and naval officer, and he would have also been standing in this area. It looks like, let me see if I can match up the bank there. Because I think, yeah, if you look here in the corner here, that's this spot right there. And so that was shot. They would have been standing right along this area, right? Right here, with that right in the background. Getting a little closer to these deer. You guys movie fans? Did you go see Barbie? So here are those trees you can see in the background. I'm gonna actually touch these trees. You're gonna see somebody touch the tree you saw in a movie. How about you? You wanna touch? Come on over. Come on. Come on, hang out with me. You too, mister. But here they are. These are those bent trees. I wonder if you can see these little tags in the movie. It's very beautiful here, very serene. hear lots of weird little animal noises sounds like a cat coughing up a hairball probably a frog or something so there you go they would have been standing right over there and again i don't know if because of the season that would have all been cleared out maybe they clear it out once a year or maybe the film company came and cleared it out and it all grew back there's an artificial water feature here that's bubbling there's no no shark killing anybody or piranhas or anything that's over there as well and over here now the real Oppenheimer and the real Einstein could have stood by this I can't imagine they didn't I assume that this was a place they liked I know Einstein liked the water a lot uh, he had a boat and he would go out boating and so this uh, this definitely is perfect and it's a perfect scene for the movie I understand why they would use his office. I always kind of find it funny when you come all the way over here and then use the office one floor up. Oh, there's another deer over there. Hold on, let me show you. Now this building across the lake, you don't see in the movie and it's not period appropriate. So I don't think they show it at all. Uh, Cause it looks to me like it was built about, about the time that Oppenheimer would have passed away, maybe even a little later. But yeah, there's a deer right over there. Oh no, my hat, my hat's blown away. Here's a good look at the back of the building. Panning around to show where the lake is, or the pond right here. All right, we made it over to Nassau Street. Let's go look at this sculpture for a second. Uh, this is the main street that rides right through Princeton. I've done some videos here. The uh, anthrax letters, if you remember that, they were mailed from a mailbox way down there. And we once talked about how uh, Indiana Jones would have gone to high school down here and work down here. Indiana Jones, the character, not the actor. All right, let's take a look at this sculpture because I like big metal things. Let's see what it's called. There's a plaque in front of it here, so let's take a look at that. Hmm. 
says this is the Betsy Stockton Garden. Doesn't say what this is. The thing I like about these sculptures is a lot of modern art you look at it, you say, I could do that. Well, I don't have the tools to make that, so I couldn't do that. I don't have the crane to move it here. Here is East Pine Hall. We came over here before when we did a video about the shooting locations from Transformers 2, which was filmed right here. in this beautiful courtyard. And they also filmed Oppenheimer in this courtyard. You see, here's the filming of it. Now, when they film here, what they do is they clear out these buildings, tell all the students they can't come in here. But when they filmed Oppenheimer and when they filmed Transformers 2, there's a men's room over here and all the men huddled in and stayed in for like an hour while they watched them film right along here so you can see footage from the men's room of both movies but yeah in both movies they went right across here so here's jack quaid killian murphy and matt damon and they would have been standing right here as the shot took them from here over this way now, another interesting thing there's not a lot you had to change here you can't show the maybe the handicap placard or anything like that to make it look time period specific but this sign had to be covered up and I actually found a, a picture of them with this sign covered up so there you go they just put uh some painter's tape and some uh, material that matched the color of this. And they put that right over there to match the wall and to cover the sign as they went right through here. an old bell right on the other side of the building it says this garden is dedicated to the 14 Princeton alumni who tragically lost their lives in the terrorist attacks of September 11th it says remembrance down there and the bells right here right outside of Pine Hall East Pine Hall which by the way is spelled P-Y-N-E Here's a statue called Out to Lunch by Seward Johnson. Yeah, I'm reading a book here. You can see all the words in it. Eating a burger. There used to be a Burger King down the street from here when I was a kid. But I think it's a pizza place or another type of restaurant now. detail on these statues is just so impressive. This is Palmer Square, shopping area. But first, I want to show you one notable spot that I've wanted to show you guys for a while and just haven't had a reason. Look at these beautiful old buildings, by the way. So 
So right around the corner here, this is the Nassau Inn. And in the early 2000s, Bill Clinton came to town and they actually took this hotel, which is a 200 room hotel, and they closed it. So even people that had rooms weren't able to go into them for a few hours while he went in there and got ready for stuff and did an interview for Esquire and they shot this picture in his hotel room right here in the Nassau Inn. Historic Hotels of America. This is on the National Register of Historic Places. And you can see it's a beauty. But yeah, that picture would have been shot right up in one of these rooms, right up here. Nassau Inn it says this sign from the original Nassau Inn was salvaged by the class of 1937 when the inn was being raised in their senior year to make room for Palmer Square. So this that was from the original Nassau Inn. But this one's uh, pretty old too. Here's a look at it from this side. I have a picture of Dr. Einstein in front of this building. I'll put that in now so you can see that. So right here behind this statue of a tiger, and that is the mascot for the university, are these bricks. These have people from all different years. You can see 1939. And they go all the way up around the statue up here. memory of Edgar Palmer, whose vision and generosity planned and built this square for Princeton, which he so loved, erected by his friends in 1944. And right down here, J. Robert Oppenheimer, physicist and his name's right down here in front of the statue it's very interesting to see the march of the mills children anniversary in 2003 mary harris mother jones a little plaque dedicated to her they have a lot of stores here including some that aren't around anymore Let's see bamberger's department store and I used to go there when I was a kid, get my school clothes. I believe my parents met when they were both working at Bamberger's. Then it became Epstein's and today it's a grocery store. And here's the other one. There's Albert Einstein.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this one from Princeton, New Jersey. It's a lot of fun to look at this. Coming back here tomorrow. So tune in to tomorrow. We'll be back in the same place, two o'clock every day. New video every day. Tomorrow we're gonna to be here. We'll look at the locations from the movie IQ, which is about Albert Einstein. But right now, box is gonna pop up here and a box over here. And what do I always say? I say you can click either one because I'm in both of them and that's still true. So go ahead, click away. I'll see you tomorrow at two o'clock. Enjoy the rest of your day.